Morning guys, today's plan is to explore the old Roman city of Perga. I was on my way there and I stumbled across this place, which is called Aspendos. And it has an old Roman theatre and it also has a necropolis. So I thought we'll stop here, we'll have a little look about first and then we'll get moving. So let's check it out. So usually before I come to a place, I like to do a bit of research and look into it a bit. But I don't really have any information about this place, so we'll just need to have a look. So Aspendus was settled in the early 4th century BC, and it was an important trading post because it had access to the water and it also had a minting press here as well. A few moments later. Oh, that's steep. So this place became occupied by Alexander the Great in 333 BC because they refused to pay tribute to the Macedonian king. Doesn't seem to be anybody up here. I've not came across anybody yet. Wow. Wonder what this place was like back then. Look at this. Whoa, check this out guys. A Spendos Theatre, which seats about 20,000. Here we go, guys.
a Spendos Theatre. Amazing. This theatre was built during the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius in 160 to 180, and they learned that because of the inscriptions on the wall. So the overall width of this theatre is 315 feet. It's still used today for concerts. Let's go and check out Perga. Well, we've made it to Perge, and this is the place I was wanting to come to today, so let's have a wee look about. Looks like a school trip. Oh. Hello. 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 I had a little read about this place last night and they were saying that this is where there would be stalls here and people used to sell things back in the time. So this stadium held about 15 to 20,000 people at the time. So this stadium would have been used for athletic events and boxing fights, wrestling and even gladiator fights took place here. What an amazing place. There's 50 open vaults here, guys, and every third one was used for the spectators to come in. Whoa. As usual guys, nobody about. It's a good time to travel, I don't know whether it's because it's Covid or the fact that it's now December and you don't really get many British tourists or any tourists really coming to Turkey apart from places like Istanbul but no, it's great, it's quiet and you practically get everywhere to yourself so happy days. The ancient city of Pergi what a place. So this is called the Roman Gate and it was built at the end of the 2nd century. Impressive. 10 metres tall. It was established in around 800 BC and it was conquered by Alexander the Great in 330 BC. What a place. So the Romans came here in 188 BC as well. And this became the capital of the new Roman province, which was called Panphylia.
So in the middle of the main street here, there would have been water flowing down here. And I'm assuming that it would have came from there. So these would have formed the elaborate entrance to the major public buildings during the Roman period. I wonder what that looked like. So these structures were built in the Hellenistic period and slightly altered during the Roman period. Absolutely amazing that they're still standing today. This place is massive, you don't realise how big it is. Well, as you can see, I've now changed. I went for something to eat and the heavens opened. It was absolutely chucking it down, but the rain's off at the minute. So on both sides of this main street here, there would have been shops. As you can see. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but there's two grooves that run up here and that's where the chariots would have been pulled up the main street. That's incredible that that survived the mosaic floor. So one of the most famous people to come from Perga was Apollonius. He wrote many famous concepts that we use today. He wrote books on geometry and astrology, and he was a very famous mathematician at the time. There's also a crater on the moon named after him, the Apollonius Crater. So the archaeologists reckon that there's still 70% of Perga to be uncovered, which is incredible considering the size of it at the minute. Such a fascinating place. It costs 60 Turkish Lira to get in here, which is about £4, which is a bargain really. I mean, it's not hard to imagine what this place was like back in the day with the little inlays where the shops were and with the tracks running up where the chariots would have been pulled.
I just wonder who inscribed that and what was their story. So there we have it, one of the ancient cities of Pamphylia, Pergi. So as I was saying earlier, they reckon there's still 70% to be uncovered and you can see the vast size of it at the minute. So the great thing about this place is it's still got its city layout. So you can really picture the way life used to be and the way people used to go about their daily life. People going to the theatre across the road over there and then going to the stadium just beyond there. Shop underneath the archways that we've seen earlier and then walking along and walking up the colonnaded street. So as early as July 2020, they found a 1,700-year-old statue of a lady. 1,700 years is incredible. And that's now housed at the Italian Museum, along with many other artefacts that were found here. Should be worth a visit. Well, signing off here, guys, from the ancient city of Perga, and I would highly recommend it if you're in the area. I'll catch you on the next one.